Alright, hey guys, so another uh, video. This is the armory update. Um, just showing you around real quick. Um, but yesterday was the one year birthday of Adron Airsoft, and I promised you guys I would make an update. So um, here it is. So let's start at the bottom on this wall. Here we have my King Arms uh, 60 round grenade and a, a homemade grenade launcher, sort of like a pistol version. Um, then we have my uh, MP40, um, just showing there. Um, here we have my uh, GNG GR16 with Magpul uh, grips and stock, and then also uh, a Magpul mag assist on the magazine, and then my NC Star red dot uh, with a sort of homemade uh, casing for it to make it just look cooler. Then my little cheap M4. Um, then I have some cheap pistols here, just sort of um, for looks. Um, 1911 that I custom painted, and then um, a cheap Beretta. Then um, starting at the bottom here, I have sort of just like a bunch of glasses and uh, like shooting goggles, just in case somebody who comes over doesn't have them, or if one pair breaks. Here's my Tokyo Marui uh, electric blowback Glock 18. My uh, UHC uh, revolver spring, my UHC gas revolver, my uh, little Walmart Taurus PT 111, um, my KJ Works uh, gas blowback Glock 27, um, KWA Mac 11, uh, Cybergun Full Metal spring 1911, my uh, Walmart uh, shotgun. I think it's a Mossberg 590 or something like that. Uh, then my UTG uh, multi shot uh, shotgun. Right now I have those shells with a uh, homemade shotgun shell holder. So basically, that is it for the walls. Um, I'll just give you a quick look. Um, then, moving over on this little step right here, we have uh, magazines and stuff. Here we have the um, Glock 27 gas blowback extra magazine, which is 15 rounds. Um, here we have two M4 uh, Tokyo Marui uh, 300 round high caps. Here we have uh, a couple shotgun shells. Here we have the um, my little pouch holding my uh, revolver shells for my revolvers hang on one second then we have behind here we have uh, extra magazines for my uh, EBB or electric blowback Tokyo Marui Glock 18 here we have three extra magazines for um, my MP40 and those are all the spare magazines I have there um, let me step back a little bit. Um, here we have just a couple extra slings hanging, uh, and my uh, homemade vest sort of hanging there, along with a homemade sort of uh, shawl, I guess, uh, camo. I might eventually make a review for that. Let me move around this wooden post. Sorry if the lighting is kind of dark. There's only one light in here, so sort of blocking it. But we have. Uh, my cross draw vest hanging up uh, behind it we have uh, my green gas and then propane behind it um, on the other side we have my um, actually I'll circle it or uh, put up annotation around it so you can see it um, but there's my holster rig behind that and then way in the back we have uh, a bunch of BBs uh, mostly we have uh, two big tubs of G&G green uh, 0.25s then we have you know a bunch of 0.12s um, some recycled BBs 0.20s and then uh, there's some little metal BBs right there and then stick speed loaders and a voltmeter here we have like my fireworks box for like making grenades and stuff smoke bombs you know 
Um, here in this box right here we have extra parts like uh, spare M4 stock, handguard, uh, carry handle, sights, stuff like that. Here we have my uh, tower of different tapes, duct tape, uh, masking tape, uh, electrical tape. If you move over you have uh, right there, sorry if the lighting is really bad, but uh, my Dremel tool right there and then a box of X-Acto knives some velcro and stuff uh, then we have uh, my duct tape hat that I made completely out of duct tape and just a tiny bit of cardboard for the uh, sort of rim of the hat then we have my homemade um, paper mache helmet right there um, here we have my JT paintball mask with the uh, camera there's the camera right there uh, for filming games um, and then on top of that we have my uh, iron face mask right here that's the iron face it's covering up the extra or the uh, bottom part of the helmet um, then we have uh, a radio or walkie talkie which is not mine but last airsoft game I went to somebody accidentally put it in my bag so uh, I haven't been airsofting in like two months so I've been meaning to bring it back but haven't been so um, then here we have uh, my JT paintball gloves um, they're fingerless gloves so you can easily pick up BBs and stuff here we have my um, one point sling right here um, under the gloves we have my uh, hat and then laying down right here we have my uh, vest, or not my vest, my belt um, under the walkie talkie is a uh, two or a double M4 mag pouch then we have a dump pouch then we have a drop leg holster and then four uh, pistol mag pouches which I've um, put sort of sideways going up and down and uh, sort of looped them together using um, rubber bands I don't know if you can really see that but um, sorry for me getting in the way but um, I put them, looped them together with rubber bands so they sort of stay together. And then I just put like smoke bombs, flashlights, other stuff like that in there. And then here we finally have just some hooks to put more stuff on the wall. But um, that's my final, or my most recent update. I'll give you a quick look again at all my stuff. Um, I hope you enjoyed this update uh, please comment like and subscribe um, and please tell your friends thank you and uh, I'll just finish showing you all this stuff and then you can move on by the way this M4 will be getting more upgrades um, It'll, right now it's cost me about $300, so soon it will be close to 500 so see ya.